When it comes to wiring control systems, like PLCs and DCSs, there are two methodologies. The first is to connect a controller using individual wires and terminal blocks. However, an alternative is to incorporate a systems cabling solution that uses pluggable, high-density connections. Let's take a look at the two approaches side-by-side side to see how they compare to each other. The assembly on the left demonstrates an installation using systems cabling, while the assembly on the right depicts a traditional point-to-point -point installation. The installer on the left begins by removing two field termination assemblies, or FTAs, from their boxes. Markers are then applied to the top of the FTAs to identify each group of signals coming from this 16-channel I.O. card. On the right, we can see the installer is adding 18 individual terminal blocks to the DIN rail to transfer signal and power. Terminal block markers are then applied to each terminal block to identify each signal. This step is skipped in the system's cabling installation since each terminal of the FTA is pre-marked. Instead, the installer on the left adds the ribbon cables to the FTAs and routes the cables through the wire duct. As the installer on the right begins cutting each wire to length, the installer on the left removes an I.O. card adapter from its box. This adapter provides a high-density ribbon cable connection to the I.O. card, thus allowing ribbon cables to be used. These adapters are keyed, allowing installation in only one manner, so they cannot be installed incorrectly. Once the adapter is inserted, the ribbon cables are tucked away and the door of the I.O. card is closed. The assembly is complete in only 1 minute and 40 seconds. Meanwhile, the installation on the right continues. We have sped up time while keeping the clock synchronized to the end of this traditional installation. We can see that a great deal of time is reserved for wire preparation. This involves both removing the jacketing and applying wire markers. Next, the installer screws each wire to the terminal strip and then adds the terminal strip to the I.O. card. Then, termination begins to each terminal block. Finally, the installer dresses the wires with cable ties and after 26 minutes, the assembly is complete. 1 minute, 40 seconds versus 26 minutes, 19 seconds.